guys. So we are going to film, like I told you guys, my very first ever uh, vegan beef stew. And with that, the actual stew part, I'm going to use one cup of flour, some French onion uh, soup mix, some uh, organic vegetable broth, a packet of homestyle vegetable, and uh, some meatless beef tips by Gardein. And these are fantastic. And I got a bag of the garden blend uh, frozen vegetables, potatoes, about two cups of potatoes, um, about one third cup of mushroom, one cup of uh, carrot. And underneath that, I do have one cup of celery. I got about a half a cup of uh, quinoa and a bay leaf. And then we're gonna put ingredients in that. But right now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to make the, uh, the sauce part of the beef stew. And I'm actually taking this recipe from another recipe that I have because this is my first time doing a vegan beef stew, as you guys all know. So, I am going to take butter, and please don't mind, I do have Bubba's on board. Say hi, Bubba's. Say hi, Bubba's. Hi, you mean you're the young man. So he is on board, so if he starts crying, please don't mind. I'm going to have to turn the camera off real quick and just kind of deal with him and get him good. So we're going to start with the butter, and I'm going to do about, I want to say, almost a stick. And this is uh, the Earth Balance uh, butter. I'm totally vegan. Totally love it. My favorite kind of butter. So let's get that in. So don't mind the phone because that's what I'm doing. So we're going to get that in there. Again, more butter. And that should be good. Yeah, that's good. So we're done with the butter. Put that away. And then I'm also going to be preparing a duck. But I'll do another video for that one uh, when I start that. So we're going to let this melt gonna get it going pretty good and as it's melting actually we're going to be adding some stuff I'm going to be adding some garlic some onion powder and a little bit of garlic salt now I'm not measuring because I'm not a measurer so I'm so sorry so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there some onion powder Okay, baby, some garlic. You're okay, my little lover. Yeah, okay. And we're just gonna let this melt down. Don't mind the bouncing. I'm bouncing, baby, so he doesn't cry. Hey, my little lovers. Okay. We're gonna get this all good and melt it in. Okay. My little love here. Now I'm not adding any salt or pepper or anything like that because I'm trying to do uh, low salt with my diet. Well, vegan. I just decided to cut out some uh, most salt. I'd like to taste the vegetables and actually taste the food. <laughs> so yeah, but you can add salt, pepper, whatever you'd like to it. Totally fine, you guys. I'm gonna let that go for a second. So totally melted down. Now we are going to add the one cup of flour. Get that going in there. Yeah. And now we are going to add So it'd be like that. Like some balls. We're going to add the low sodium organic vegetable broth. And the, as you can see, this is a USDA organic. And we are going to get that in there. 
Then we're just gonna pour the whole thing in there. gonna give it a little stir because next we are going to take the whisk and this is gonna thicken actually a lot so we're gonna stir this up and thicken it my little love me mama put you down hmm? whisk. okay so we're gonna whisk it and we're just gonna keep whisking this until it thickens up and it will thicken and this is gonna be about five to eight minutes that you're gonna have to do this but it will thicken yeah I'm gonna eat a man love I'm gonna kind of buff it huh Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Shonday. Oh, thank you so much for the, um, okay, 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 my little love man. For the, um, you're okay, you're okay. Yes, honey. For the aprons, absolutely love them. She made me some owl aprons for around the kitchen, which is fantastic. I love. So, yes. So I'll be right back. I'm actually going to put Bubba's down for a second. So I'll be right back. Hold on, Bubba. Let's go put you down for a minute. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is nice and thick. Like, really thick. So, I'm going to keep going. Maybe look at, let it get a little bit, just a tad thicker. A little thicker. We're going to get it nice and thick. See, as you guys can see, that is nice and thick. Get it just a little thicker. Okay, turn this off. Now I have the French onion soup. I'm gonna add that to it. While this is on a low setting, go and I added about half of it just to let you guys see that so you guys know and as you can see it is still nice and thick thank goodness say mommy did it right <laughs> well this is my first time trying this recipe I'm doing making it myself like my own recipe uh, from a couple other recipes that I have it's just I'm taking substituting everything for a uh, vegan uh, um, ingredients so, yeah, and see that is still nice and thick actually. So let's add a bit more onion soup. And just to let you guys know that this is vegetarian, which is a vegan. This is a vegan onion soup. No animal products in it. And this is still on a low. And into this. Oops. I'm going to add a vegetable seasoning that I showed you. The only thing that is in this is soy. And I think it said, soy and wheat. That is the milk contents for that, which is soy. So I'm gonna add this in there. No. 
and well we're letting this sit just for a little bit just to let everything incorporate really good and get everything good and going and this I used a little there might be a little less than half of the onion soup left in there I'll save that for our next one or I just actually you know what I'm just gonna add the whole thing to it you guys because it'll be sitting in there for a minute and I don't want it to go bad because I am gonna freeze some of this as well so Oh, and it's still nice and thick. So yeah, go ahead and add the whole container of onion soup. Because it's still got a fantastic coating coverage on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I am going to, I have my crock pot here and I'm just gonna coat it with a little bit of olive oil. And then I am going to add the potatoes let me rinse them well i rinsed them but we'll rinse them again just just to rinse say yes just to rinse make it a yes man. so we're gonna add the potatoes in there we are gonna add the mushrooms carrots and celery and the quinoa no you guys don't have to add that the quinoa you guys don't need to add that i'm just adding it for me because i actually do like that and then i'm going to add the beefless tips so opening this one with one hand because i got baby with me so yeah let's just get the scissors how about that yeah let's just get the scissors okay so i'm gonna cut this open I'm going to use the whole bag anyways. Yeah, I did my yitty yup man. Put those in there. And there's that. Just kind of mix it in. There we go. Now we are going to pour the entire contents of this pot over the stew. Okay. Hey, baby. You're okay, my little love man. Yeah. And there we go. And as you guys can see, it is still a nice, thick consistency. My little love man. Yes, my little love man. My little love man. There we go. And I did throw a bay, the bay leaf in there as well. So just to let you guys know that the bay leaf is in there. And then I'm gonna let this cook. And about 30 minutes before it's done, um, I'm gonna throw that bag of the vegetable blend in there, in this, to add more vegetables for myself. But you guys don't need to add that. You guys can just have this, just like this. And it is totally fine like that and this is also how uh for the beef regular beef stew mix except i don't add the quinoa i don't add the mushrooms and the uh vegan beef tips i add actual meat for my family because they're not vegan and i'm not going to force them to be <laughs> it's just me okay so i'm not gonna put anything else in there no salt no pepper nothing like that Maybe throw a little bit of the nutritional yeast because I love this stuff. And you see the great thing about this is I can actually taste it because there is no raw meat in here. So let's taste the flavoring of it. Oh, that's good. Okay, so here we go gonna lock it up so we're gonna lock it up yes we are in the moon lamps okay there we go lock this up and we are going to set this for four hours on high and it'll automatically go down to low so when it comes to about 30 minutes before it is done, I will come back and I will add in the garden blend. Uh
Here is the stew. I actually, uh, as soon as it was done with the four hours, I put it in, I put it in for about another 30 minutes because uh, for the other vegetables as well, but also the potatoes were not soft enough for me. Um, so yeah, so here it is. Nice and ready, look at that. Yes, baby. Because I like my potatoes like really soft. I don't like hard potatoes. Like I can't do that. And I did add the other bag of vegetables to this as well. So yeah. So there it is. So enjoy.